should thank you. Capturing Bruce Wayne is so much easier than Batman. Our mystery caller was correct. It looks like Batman himself is exiting the building. Is he really? Hello, Gotham, it's me. I'm afraid Miss Vale will soon be leaving the airwaves. We apologize for this interruption. We've been hit. We're going down. Mayday! Mayday! Joker wants the reporter dead. Yeah, okay, I'm trying. I just can't get a clear shot. Just keep pointing your gun over where she was. Vampire has ceased from Deanie Towers. I can no longer see the snipers on the roof of the apartment building. bullet through that annoying reporter's face. It appears that the sniper is 
covering my position from the southeast have gone. The roof of the Kirshen building has gone quiet. Either they've all left, or someone has taken them out. If you can hear me, this is Vicky Vale. I am running out of time. I can't move from my position. You should be safe here for now. Stay here, and keep out of sight. Any chance I could get an exclusive? Care to tell Gotham what's going on with your face? No. Stay there and be quiet. Now, that's no way to talk to the nice reporter, Lady Bats! What do you want? Who are you talking to? Now, see what you've done. The poor woman's all confused. Hardly surprising, I suppose. I mean, she's just been in a terrible accident. <laughs> that you caused. How dare you! I've never been so... Oh, what the hell. Yes, okay. It was me. I just needed a little time to guarantee that Harley got back to me with my delicious cure. And if you're a good boy, I may even save a little for you. It's unlikely, I know, but I'm really your last hope now, aren't I? Well, Gotham, it appears I'm safe. For now. I've just been rescued by Batman. He saved me from what felt like certain death at the hands of snipers, all working for the Joker. How did the Joker's crew get their hands on sniper rifles in a maximum security prison? That, Gotham, is a question I intend to put to Professor Strange if I ever get out of here. I have to say that I have been shocked at the conditions on the ground in this so-called prison facility. So far tonight, I have witnessed our...
It's me. Run, 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 or the blood will start flowing. story. I feel the need to talk, to confess maybe. I was rich and alone, but not for long, of course. I took to gambling, or maybe it took to me. If only I had been good at it. Ah, I may not be where I am today. As my life spiraled out of control, I desperately formed a plan. A plan to win back my parents' money and be happy again. It didn't work, of course. Plans like that never do. But as I stood outside the iceberg lounge on that hot summer night, I remember feeling something. Hope, maybe.
More tea, Batman? Where am I? What's going on? What a question. Shall I tell him? Oh, he looks so confused. Maybe I should. Well, it's simple, really. I planted a teeny tiny little idea in your head. A sort of remote hypnotic suggestion. Very complicated stuff. I'm sure you wouldn't understand, but as you can see, it worked. You're mine now. You're mine, and there's nothing that Strange can do about it. Oh, are you not going to drink your tea? It's special tea. My special tea. My special tea. <laughs> Go to hell, Jervis. Simply put, I made you see what you wanted most. Mm-hmm. What was it? Tell me. Tell me. Oh, tell me. <laughs> so predictable, just like Alice. Never doing what I want without ludicrous amounts of psychoactive controls. Well, if that's what's necessary, it's a good job that you've already taken them. All we need now is a finishing touch. A special new hat. Just for you. You are my soldier now, Batman. You will do everything I say. You will do anything I want. You cannot win. will be here soon, that man. You don't... Don't fight it. I'd love to 
to see what those two got cooking. The bat computer has detected another round fired from Deadshot's weapon. I've analyzed the impact sound, and the bullet struck in this approximate location. Lie to me. I don't like it when people lie to me. I'm not. Please, don't hurt me. Why don't I believe you, huh? Oh, that's right. You're just some maggot who will say anything to get out of a beating. Now, what do I need to break before you do what I want? You don't. Please, I'll do it. Didn't doubt it for a second. Now do what he said. Go and join up with Joker's crew. Find out what's going on with them. If you don't come back with information, I'll have five. No, ten. Yeah, I'll have ten of my buddies break every bone in your body. Understand? Good. Find my phone, Batman, or the killing starts. Lounge was crawling with the disgusting flesh of humanity. You could find anything there, if you had the money, of course. At the beginning, I seemed to be winning. The cards all went my way, and I found myself at the owner's table. For some reason, I thought I would win, that he would play fair. I looked around the table. I saw the people I was against. Card sharks, thugs, princes, and the disgusting midget who ran the place. One by one, they all lost or folded. The chips were piling up, and it was just him and me. Doing here.
I managed to track Nora down to somewhere in this... Protocol 10 will commence in one hour. Find my phone, Batman. Of course, that little accident hadn't happened yet. And both of them were looking at me when I put down my cards. Six of clubs. Six of diamonds. He looked scared. He leaned forward and I could smell the cigar stench on his breath. The six of spades and finally, the six of hearts. I felt good. And then he started laughing. He belched out smoke and he put his cards down on the table. Card by card, my heart sank. A three, a four, a five, a six, a damn seven! His straight flush ended me there. I was lost and thrown out into the city to die. Penniless. what it was like, Batman? I was numb. I'd lost everything, and I was alone, crying like a baby staggering through the streets of the city, until I found the answer that I had been looking for. I stood there on the Sprang Bridge, looking out at the sea. I felt the warm breeze on my skin, and it felt right. I looked down and imagined myself falling into the blissful arms of my mother. And then he appeared. He held out the knife and demanded my money. My money! Can you believe it? I looked into his cold, desperate eyes, and I saw something familiar, something inevitable. I saw oblivion. I saw that we are all the same, stuck on a miserable loop that demands salvation. 
So I gave it to him. You're gonna die, Batman! This is where you're gonna die! This will be easy, freak. of one of Penguins or Two-Faces, guys. All right, keep the living crap out of you right here. But I'm not a fighter. I'm an accountant, for God's sake. I can't do... Doing here. Batman's here. There's a fight going on over there. We won't know who you are when we're done. Run, 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 or the blood will start flowing.
imagine the vagrant's surprise when I grabbed his knife from his hands. It, it was instinctive. It was beautiful. In one movement, I sliced out his throat and gave him the gift of salvation. It happened so fast, but I felt every joyous sensation. The blood sprayed over my face, and I saw what little life was left in his eyes. Leave. But then it was over. I felt lost. Like it had been meaningless. That no one would acknowledge my sacrifice. And then it happened. Without realizing what I was doing, I plunged the knife into my forearm and cut deep. It was incredible. I felt my body elevate to a higher place. It had become a temple to my work. I thought he was mayor now. No way could Strange get the mayor of Gotham freaking city sent in here. Ah! 
My body is a temple dedicated to your memory. <laughs> Not describe with mere words the joy I feel as I make that mark into my flesh. Uh, uh, <laughs> you, you, I will gut like a fish. <gasps> Your entire lives have been accelerated to this point. <laughs> oh, this is a glorious day for you to die on. <laughs> Soon, I will carve your life on my arm. Mwah. Can you feel the time approaching, little pigs? <laughs> this is all too much fun, isn't it, piggies? I'm enjoying myself so much, I nearly forgot to give Batman another call. Come on, Batman! Where are you? This is not over. It cannot be over. My blade will bathe in the crimson rivers of blood that will pour from the holes I cut into your body. You cannot deny me the mark. I need to make the mark. It's all I have left. That psycho looked into my eyes and told me what he was going to do to me. I've never been so scared. He's locked up now. You'll be safe here. I owe you, Batman. This maniac was talking like he was going to cut us up. He was. You'll be safe here for now. He's not going anywhere. Thank you. Capturing Bruce Wayne is so much easier than Batman.